What's up, Mini Truckers? Ben here, that US Mini Trucks. We got the Honda Acti with the Honda decals straight from Japan. The lowered bedsides, two wheel drive, street legal, dot approved, a little bit wider tires, 155 ADR12. So normally they're 145 R12. I got these sunglasses from Japan. I found them in one of the trucks. Went in Rome, do as the Romans do. Let's walk around this one real quick. Really pretty clean. That piece is broken, but I actually have the black, the plastic. You would put a license plate over there, so maybe you wouldn't even notice it. Looks like a little bit of fade here. Touch these up. Those look pretty good. Pretty dusty, so it would be better if it was cleaner. There's a little touch of rust right there. Get the one of the things this bed sides don't come down so you see someone bolted them here they're still hinged so I guess you could unbolt it in the back they're just latched so I feel like it could work the back does swing down let me show you that real quick. Look it on. So that comes down normal. And then it has these little pieces. This is what it had like a something resting on there. A little diamond plate box. It's just dirty here. A little bit of surface rust on these. Really pretty good shape though. Let me latch this up and then we'll pull it out. We'll start it. Let's see if we can pull it out. Looks like a little bit of things right there on the door so this is a two-wheel drive honda acti they call it an ha3 the four-wheel drives are going to be ha4s most of the parts are compatible but uh, obviously not like the drivetrain you know if you're getting something specifically for the four-wheel drive looks like the original seat and there's a 92 we're showing 67,000 miles this one has some sort of radio. Looks kind of like it's seen better days. Hmm, is the screen missing? It's an empty glove box. And then this seat comes down. I just have some of my stuff here at the bottom. So I haven't run this in a while. Hopefully we'll get it started, no problems. Make sure you're in neutral. I'm gonna pump the throttle twice, just like this. And, mm. Trying to think what the easiest option is. I think probably get my little jump box. I have my little yellow jump back, it's still Still ticking. Okay, I got it. This is the little thing. I got my junk cables there, so. A little bit more work, because we gotta lift the hood open, but it has power and doesn't take much for this little jump pack to start it. I'll throw it on a charger, but we got the rebirth battery. That might be part of the problem. You gotta have that original birth. People have those problems with that rebirth. I don't even know what that means. 
just doesn't sound good. All right, let's see. I try to keep this thing charged, but there's no telling. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Yes. Yes. So I said for 20 bucks, if you use it a couple times, I've already used it too many times. You're gonna get this high idle, that's normal. And then as it warms up, it's gonna come down. We'll drive it around a little. I don't know if we're gonna get it, this one might need fuel. Write down in the comments what you like to look at when I'm driving. If you'd like to just look at the speedo or outside. Listen to that if you hold it in gear. Sounds pretty good. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on just in case. I love these two wheel drive one because they're super smooth and light on the steering. A four wheel drive would be dragging this front end. So you don't have any of that drive shaft or any of that weight up front. It makes a noticeable difference if you drive them, you know, and you've got some experience with them. Obviously you lose some traction, but there we're in second. shift a third here I'm gonna shift a fourth and just kind of loaf along let's test out our blinkers here there's a left blinker I'm back in second so I went from fourth to second Slow. Let me see if I can go around real quick. We're coming to the stop sign. I'm gonna come out of first here. Dude, I ordered this watch from Japan, it's only one, it's like a Casio triple sensor, so it has an altimeter and compass and stuff. And uh, I thought about taking it to Colorado, we went on this ski trip, but I lost it, I couldn't find it. And I thought somebody took it, we had replaced some carpet in our house, and I thought maybe the carpet guys took it. And like long, a couple months later, finally, my wife sent me this text when I was out of town. And sure enough, the uh, it was in my son's toy box, one of them he plays with under the bed. We need to get fuel in this thing. I feel I don't want to run out of gas. Let me roll up this. Oh, so what I was getting at with that, I'm going to put on the, it's got a barometer, but that number on the bottom is the degrees in Fahrenheit. So we're, it's saying 89 degrees, sometimes more accurate or less. The top number is the barometric pressure. Okay, and inches of mercury. But I'm bringing that up so I can show you the AC. I'm gonna roll the windows up. We'll see if we can, one, if I can survive without sweating. And then two, if we can get the thermometer on my phone to go down a little bit or on my watch i'm feeling cold air this feels really good and it's only on level two so i'll put it to level three here just makes it a little harder to hear sometimes you know what i have is a thermometer 
uh, that I use for testing is for like baking. Whoa. The one issue with the air on and the windows rolled up, you don't have a tachometer, so sometimes it can be hard to tell what gear you're in. I was there in first, just plowing along. All right, I'm gonna pull in here. We're gonna test some other stuff real quick. We're gonna test our windshield squirters. So we got some juice, this one, come on, juice. So maybe a little clogged with dust. I see it's trying down there. So it gets the tank from here. And the tank has fluid, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, we're putting the watch to show you the temperature. It's already gone down to 87. It's gonna keep dropping, but oh, let's turn the wipers off. Pretty much that's it, we're cooling. We're cooling down. We're enjoying the day. Let me see if I can get anything out of this radio. It looks like if you could just get a faceplate or something. I thought it had stickers on both sides, but I guess it only has the Yamaha, the Honda sticker on this side. Huh. All right. So we're going to take the engine cover off real quick, and then I'll be back in two seconds. I'm not sponsored or anything, but this Milwaukee... 3 8 ratchet it's been a game changer that battery stays charged a long time the way i use it so here we are what we've got to do if we want to raise the regular idle we just uh set this and if we want to raise the ac idle we're gonna pull this little plastic nub off that's good when you see it like this because it means nobody's got in here yet and messed it up you know I thought this was a uh, new enough to be 134 but I guess somebody just replaced it so you can see it's got a 134 compressor and then even all the hard lines say mm, well there's an adapter I guess maybe it's just an adapter but it's working good it's gonna be affordable to maintain okay so to raise the idle with the AC on, we need to unscrew this. Should do it with the engine on, but I'm just being lazy for a second. So let's go. Oh, shoot. I forgot the thing. See, what a bummer. Come on. Oh, man. Well, this is a total fail because I forgot the battery was dead. And then I turned it off, and now... Uh, Now the thing is there, and I don't have my charger. I left it at my truck in that little yellow box. So I'm gonna push this forward, throw it on a charger, and this is the life of the mini trucker. We'll be back. I had somebody call me the other day and ask which which way is the Honda go. And the positive lead is gonna go forward, so now we know. For all of history, we can have it here. Oh, I gotta get this door. Come on, man. Two-wheel drive Honda Acti on a charger. Wait till you guys look how clean it is underneath. Right down in the comments or the uh, yeah, I guess the comments and. Let me know what you think, how clean, if it's cleaner than yours, or don't be jealous, but I thought when I saw this one, it's pretty good looking. Last time I did this, the light didn't expose very well, so I'm gonna take my time more. Just hold it here. Here's your oil filter. You can kind of see your starter, your distributor. This is the starter and the distributor your AC condenser oh it's so dark but yeah look at this 
for 18 or whatever it is, 25 years old. It's pretty clean. I, 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 I'm on my knees on this gravel. Sucks. Let me get this thing. Let me grab this real quick so I can lean on it. So two-wheel drive, there's nothing up here. It's just that steering mechanism. And that's it. Pretty cool. Normally you have the axles and differentials and it's probably easier to to repair if you had to do anything. Let me keep coming around, working our way around. Yeah, look at this hollow area where the differential would normally sit. Pretty cool. I don't know what you could do. Look how clean that. I mean, if somebody's got pictures of a cleaner one that's running with the AC working for the price I've got. I'd like to see it. A little bit of dusty rust right here but you can see it's just mostly just a real slight surface <clears throat> looks like a little crack right here that one's not really cracked it's just oh this exhaust looks good a lot of them come with the pipe all rusted or I mean look how clean that is a lot of them a lot of them are just covered in dust and dirt and grime and this wheels still black pretty impressive when you see a lot of dirty ones the bolts are all easy to work on I mean that's what some of these things are so annoying people bring them and the bolts are all rusty it's like you're spending all your time Doing rusty bolts. We could get it started now, but I want to keep it on that charger and just trickle charge it. So, I guess we'll be back later this evening. And yeah, that's what happens. We're here. We're 100%. I got a couple things going on. I got my thermometer, meat baster. So it tells you right there the temperatures. Okay. We'll see right now. It's showing 99.2. Maybe it'll cool down a little in the shade. Nice and good start right there. I always just do it like this. Okay, we're here in the Honda Acti, checking the temperature of the air conditioning. We're gonna see, it's showing about 77, it's about 100 degrees outside. Filming, but hopefully you can see that. It's getting there. Getting nice and cool. The thing, there's no insulation on any of the doors or walls or anything. Yeah, look how clean these bolts look. Most of the Honda Actis don't even have this little black piece. If you look in the pictures or you're thinking about buying one, ask them if they have that piece on there. You'd be surprised. Oh, here it goes. Come on, let's get in the 60s, baby. We get in the 60s, I'm gonna call it a win. And 
Oh, I can see this piece is missing. Looks like it had a, it's supposed to have a drop down visor. Oh, come on, the, the battery died on us. Or the battery timed out. No. Oh, there we go. 69, 68, we're doing it, we're doing it. We just got out of the truck. Watch out for quick this thing starts rising. Let me be two outside. This thing's yeah, it's hot guys. It's hard to get motivated. But it'll get me motivated if you hit that like or subscribe. And let this dude know in Maine what you think about his truck. If you think it's a win, a loss. But yeah. I think if somebody would be happy to get this one, 